Hello and welcome to bsdtutorial.org. We are going to learn how to set up our IP addresses today, and we're going to configure them in different ways, like uh, manually change IP address once, and also make uh, uh, addresses that remains after reboot, and we are going to look at how we can reach an DHCP server to get our IP address dynamically. So there won't be any uh, explanation of how networking is working exactly in detail because um, I will put that in another tutorial and uh, I'm so in this tutorial uh, you will require the knowledge of what IP address actually are and which one you're going to need. And I'm also going to help you with uh, setting up your DNS server. So we can start with uh, how to check our IP addresses. In order to do that, you just write ifconfig. So this command, you will see the following that here is the name of the network card. This is not the same because this is depending on which manufacturer or network card you have. EM0 is uh, like uh, EM are for Intel and uh, 0 is the number of network cards. So this is card number 1. If I had 2, there would be EM0 and EM1 for example. And uh, you can see over here that here is our IP address uh, which is uh, which I have obtained with DHCP server to get it dynamically. Here you see the net mask and this is written in hexadecimal. So this means basically that uh, that uh, this group FF uh, is uh, 255 and that's uh, the other group is 255 and the other one is 255 and the other one is not anything there. So this is a class C network. So uh, I would like to start with the most basic thing like uh, how do we change our network uh, manually like let's say that you need to set this card to another address that's very simple because all you have to do is uh, to write ifconfig and uh, the name of the network card in my case it's em0 perhaps you have a real tech it will be re0 then you write the IP address directly so let's say I want to have uh, 77 like this and uh, then we add the net mask also. Uh, there are two ways you can add the net mask and I'm going to take show you both of them. So one way is to write net mask and to add all this. So um, that's one way. If I press return now, the network card, I, you need to press return two times if it happens like that. Uh, the network card will have the address, so if you check ifconfig once more, you can see over here that EM0 now has the address 192.168.077, which we wanted, and the net mask is the same as before. Okay, so I told you there were another way to write net mask. So you can write them like this, basically. Right after the IP address, you can make a slash followed by how many numbers uh, of uh, bits would you like to mask. So in our case, if in a class C network, you would like to mask the three first bytes, which is uh, three times eight bits, which is 24. So if you would like to put everything to 155, that would be slash 32 instead. So just do like this, press return and uh, it should uh, now you can see here that the net mask is like that just want to show you what I mean for example let's say I do this command again and I add 32 instead then all of these would be F instead of the 2 would be 0 there as you see that's how it functions okay um, so uh, if you're rebooting now, I was changing back to the 24 uh, bit masking and let's say you reboot the system now. Then uh, I would um, not get this address anymore because we need to, to, in order to keep the addresses, we need to put them in etcrc.conf which is the boat uh, the script for when FreeBSD has been launching and for 
like what program should be launched and what which IP address on which network card do we want to have. So, um, I would like to, I think before I continue this, uh, I would like to mention how you can basically get an address from a DHCP server. If you know that there is a DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, uh, that serves that gives IP addresses when you connect the cable. Uh, that means if you want to call this server once more to get an IP address, it's very simple that you just write DH client followed by the network card name. Like this, DH client EM0. Now I'm asking the network if there is a server and I'm borrowing an address. And I was getting an address successfully. So, um, Another thing uh, is that if you're going to use dynamic host configuration protocol, which I did now, and you want it each time it launches, that's also something you need to add in the rc.com file. I'm going to show you the, how to add everything in the etcrc.com file in a few moments. And another thing you will need to know is how do we add a router, like a default route in our network, and what that is is if you imagine like you can have machines on the network and you reach them because they are at your home plugged with the cables you're reaching those computers but let's say that you write an address that it doesn't belong to your network like an address that should go out to communicate over the internet like you want to reach a web server somewhere then the computer needs to know um, which is the default router to the network and le let me show you how I how we add one in my ca case, in my network, the address of that router ends with 25. Normally you put number 1, I guess, but uh, this is a little special case which I wanted to have 25 there. But it's very simple. So, the command is route. So if you want to know anything about that command, you just write man route. And you get the manual page for it, for example. And you can read a little bit things more here, if you want. Okay, so if to add a route, it's very simple. Then it's route add default and the address to the, that router. In my case, it's this address. Um, this router was already in my table. So uh, if it wasn't in your table, for example, the, the default one, then it would be added. And um, so that's how you add the router. Uh, that's also need to be added to the rc.conf if you want to make a manual settings that will cover for each remote. So now we've been looking at how to do all these things. Uh, I would like to show you a final thing here before we go to the... Uh, actually I want to show you two things before we continue. One, the first thing I would like to show you is where you find the name servers. So if you want to add a DNS server, you just edit the etc resolve.conf. And in this file, you find the name servers. So you, so you just need to add name server followed by uh, the IP address to the DNS server. In my case, it's my default router which responds as a, D, uh, as a DNS. And in case um, you have heard about them and don't know what they do, is that they translate an, uh, an a domain name to an IP address. For example, if you want to reach uh, bsdtutorial.org, the website, uh, the name server will give you back uh, an IP address. So uh, when you're typing that domain name, the DNS server gives back an IP address so the computer knows where should I go to get this page. I think we are almost ready to um, uh, to uh, we to end to go to the etcrc.conf, but first I would like to show you how we can change our network card name. For example, you remember I told you this is a network card name. Let's say I want to change this one. Then I just do like this. I have config uh, the network card name EM0 in my case, and then you add name followed by what name you want. My cute little card. No, too long. I write my 
my nick like that. And uh, now if I look with ifconfig, you see that the network card name has been changed. Uh, this also needs to be added to rc.conf to remain after reboot. So let's begin with uh, editing that file which I was speaking about. You go, you take an editor you want, perhaps you want VI, perhaps you want EE, the EC editor. So select the one that you like more. Okay, so then you just edit the etc rc.conf file. And here you will find something that I'm already using. You can see here, ifconfig underscore followed by the network card name and what setup it should use. And you can see that it's using DHCP. Basically, most of the commands we're going to do here are already covered. Like they begin with ifconfig underscore the network card name equals and double quotation and what should be inside. An advice is if you want to delete an entire word in VI editor, press D and then W like that. So should we put an, um, let's put a static IP address. Uh, to do that, uh, you just need to add the IP address like this. Let's say I want to have 66 in the end. And in case you want to write um, the net mask like you did before, it's the same like before, net mask. Uh, this can seem a little bit long, so if you want, to, you can also do the other thing I did, like to add the slash followed by how many bits we want to mask. Uh, this is how you add a static address to a network card. It's not that hard. Let's say I want to have it like that. Uh, and let's say that I want to add a default router now. Uh, then you need to add a new line after, which should be... It's not uh, the same command before, it's a little bit different, but... Default router for and uh, equals and double quotation. And then you end with quotation again. So that's how you add a default router. And uh, I think what more do we need to cover here? Let me just look in my notes here so I don't forget anything important here. That one, that one, that one, that one. And we also need to, in case you want to change the network card name, we can do that also. Uh, then it should be like this ifconfig underscore em0 in my case because that's my network card name underscore name equals and double quotation my network card but uh, there is one thing that you should think about here if you change the network network card name like that then you also need to add that network card name there because it's not em0 anymore if we are changing the network card name uh, but i think we'll figure out how to do this if you really need to need this um, thing but uh, i'm not using it i'm keeping the network card names as they are so that was everything you have to know in for now to add your ip addresses because uh, I'm going to make other tutorials, uh, those will cover more in detail what network cards uh, addresses are, uh, how they are, how you use them and how different network you can set up. I think I will cover the IPv6 because this was IPv4 standard, so I will cover the other one in another tutorial also. But I think this was the um, as I said before, instead of putting the addresses during install, you can put them after because you see it was not that hard, it was very simple. So, um, uh, I th uh, to be clear, I just need to say that uh, I think I was forgetting that everything you edit in etcrc.conf will apply after you reboot. So, if you reboot, you're going to get these settings. You save and quit and you just reboot. And now we check by typing ifconfig. 
and uh, you see here I have the um, uh, the address set up and let's try to ping and I'm reaching out to the network if I didn't have correct default router I wouldn't be able to ping out to an external address alright that was everything uh, take care and good luck with configurations